Hey guys, Silent Sounds here with another Pokemon Sleep video. I hope everybody's having an amazing Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, I think we're Wednesday. Hash should be Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. So let's get right into it. Let's see what we find. Eight hours and a half. Looks pretty balanced to me, but a lot of slumbering, actually. Yeah, we got to 73. I might be slumbering. Yep, let's go. I don't really get a lot of slumbering. What are we gonna get? Bone sleeves? We did get a full board, so that's nice. 26,000. Hmm, bold pigs, a top belly. Nice. Charmeleon, Swalot, Squirtle. Feel Larvitar. Do we have a Larva Wobbuffet? Okay. Oh, we have a good Volpix. I don't even know what to get at this point. The Larvitar? Hmm. How much for that Volpix? Let's see. Top belly, 11 mains and 3,266 shards. Is it 66? I thought it was 60 something else. It's all good. Inside Vulpix, body burns a flame that never goes out. Sometimes while it's sleeping, this Pokemon re releases flames from its mouth to adjust its internal body temperature and prevent it from growing too hot. Interesting. Yeah, 3,268. There we go. All those good shards. Nobody's... Wait, how is nobody hungry? I thought there was supposed to be at least one hungry Pokemon. Craig. Larvitar is looking kind of nice, though. I still need, like, a... Full-blown... Let's see what the daily gift. If we get a Pokebiz, we go for Larvitar. If we don't, we go for Volpix. The daily gift has decided. Has decided. If I would have known that, we'd just give it Pokebiz. <laughs> I'm really thinking about giving a Poke Biscuit, but I think I should save it for next week when I run the good cat ticket. Yeah, top belly. Can you sleep down? 54 mains. That's a good amount. Almost there. We're so close. What do we got going on? Bold pigs. I already got a berry finding one. So, ooh, calm isn't. I don't think calm is good. Potatoes. Ingredient finder. Yeah, no. Not good until we get to level ten. I'm amazed I even got a berry finding bold pigs. Which is nine. Now a nine tails. So nice, nice. Let's see, we did get 5,742 from our type Belosian, but we got in total a little over 10k. Not bad. Sleep. It looks like good sleep event does start today. Or tonight. We did get that skill trigger from Bailey. That's nice. Good amount of berries, any tomatoes, nice tomatoes. Um, is he still true? Let's go. Couple of stuff. That cacao is actually pretty helpful. Let's see. Skill trigger from Typhlosion. That would be like 3,000, 4,000? No. Let's collect those sleep points real quick. Actually, Typhlosion has been doing amazing. Okay, 246, not too bad. Let's 
Let's check. No news, right? Updates? I feel like that's new. But yeah, thank you for playing. Uh, preparation. Yeah, I feel like this one came out a while ago. I don't know what the new one, the 17 one, is in relation to. I did hear that they patched up the Sunday, the time travel over to Monday where you can cook your meal. I wasn't ever doing it just because I'm not a fan of like stuff like that. I like playing the game how it's like intended. And it's basically just luck based and a little bit of strategy if you're smart once you get the Pokemon that you get. But as far as everything else, like actually getting the Pokemon, it's a little... You can control it a little bit, like with the sleep styles, but everything else is kind of RNG type of stuff. So we got Kangaskhan candy. I actually like the Ekans. If we get it, well, we have a decent one. Cyndaquil, a lot of Entei. Yeah, a lot of people are using a lot of Entei since We did get 16 Entei main, so that's nice. Uh, we unfortunately did not have any shinies yesterday. Um, so that's actually kind of rare because we usually at least get one. But let's see, all 50 within three days, everybody's within it. Thank you all. Let's see, let's see. What should we cook up? We have a lot of ingredients, right? Actually, let's see what we're doing. We have a good amount of tomatoes. Not too crazy. Usually I cook the overheat ginger salad or uh, the contrary chocolate. Do have enough. What about in strength? Strength rise would be the mushroom. I think I might do the mushroom. We do have a lot of sausage. I think we can use a good amount. Extra tasty. No extra tasty. It is what it is. 15,000 though, that's still pretty good. Ooh, we almost got level 22 on it. So close. Not too bad. Hopefully we make it to what uh, we're master this is master four. Yeah, master four. Hopefully we make it to master five. I think we should. I think our goal for this uh for this week is kinda if we can get to master fifteen, that'd be alright. Or even maybe master sixteen. Um, because we're gonna be going hard next week. Next week we'll really have the aerial bonus up to 60 i'll put a good camp ticket so it's gonna be crazy and then hopefully by that next week i have like an ente i'm thinking of doing like an ente either on saturday or sunday um so right now i'm just gonna be depending on my actual rating to see if i can encounter one um but with that said i think i am gonna buy an incense What is it, 60 or should I do it? I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, it, the odds are like, what if I encounter one? That's more important. Yeah, I'll just buy the, the biscuits and I'll be good. Well, guys, that is the end of the video. Um, nothing too crazy on our session, but you know, everything helps. Um, the question of the day is gonna be, I'm just curious what everybody thinks about like the new design for the map. Uh, personally, I like, <laughs> do I like it more than the Raikou event? 
Mm, I wouldn't say so. Actually, I, I do like the these type of plants, like the palm trees, I think. I think they're like palm, not palm trees. But they're like a salt. They're like a little bit like a sort of a palm tree. I like those. I like the little dash addition of these little flowers. And also the little like side effects of like the little mini lava. I don't know if you call them. I don't think they're geysers, but they're just like open lava. It's not too bad. I like the steam coming from <coughs> the ground as well. It's pretty good. And then I hear the music. Hold up. It's giving Spanish vibes. It's giving, uh, not Spanish. Yeah, it's Spanish, like somewhere like South America, you know, Spanish descent. I like it, I like the guitar. So, uh, let me know what y'all think about the music and the map, like how they did. I like the background. Ooh, I just noticed that. Is that a volcano? That's so cool. I'm not even gonna lie. I actually had not paid attention. I'm usually always over here, so I never see this. It's good, it's good to look at other stuff once in a while. Well, guys, comment down below what y'all think about this. Um, point out anything. If I missed anything, let me know. I'd like to know. All right. Uh, well, if you like the video, if you like the content, push that like button. It helps me out a lot. Um, if you want to get notified about my daily uploads, uh, feel free to subscribe. That helps me out, helps you out. And then lastly, if you can share the video, it helps out a lot. Thanks. Um, and if you made it this far, I appreciate you. If you're new to the channel, just uh, letting you know that I called all the subscribers, Sand Gems, or everybody that, you know, um, views the videos, that likes and content, all stuff like that. I will address uh, y'all as Sand Gems, just because I'm Silent Sand, so I, I thought it would be nice, Sand Gems. Everybody's a gem. Um, but as always, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday. Until tomorrow, y'all take care. Lots of love. Uh, Silent Sands out.